Hi everyone, uh, it's great to see you today. I hope you had a great Tuesday. Uh, it's Wednesday, September 12th, um, and, and um, we're, we're in the midst of, of kind of outlining the next 40 days, right? The, the, uh, we're, we, we're looking at this idea of, of being in Christ. What does that mean? And growing in that. And we see that Jesus uh, practiced five disciplines that, that relates to us growing in, in our very identity, who we are in Christ, our being in him, right? And just let me hold this up one more time. And, and, and those five are, are commit uh, uh, to a community, study scripture, prioritize prayer, seek solitude, and choose church, and choose church. Uh, and, and we've kind of signposted the idea of committing to community, um, very essence of our being. We're, we're, we're created um, uh, to, to have relationship with God and with one another, right? Uh, to study scripture. And today I'm just going to signpost two of them because we just have one devotion after today. Uh, and they, the two are prioritize prayer and seek solitude. And again, uh, as with all of these, our great example is Jesus, both in his life and in his words, right? Uh, so the idea of prioritizing prayer, everywhere you look, you see Jesus uh, praying, right? Uh, uh, he's, he's praying to his heavenly father in John. He's praying in the garden of Gethsemane. He's, he's praying, uh, before he does miracles. He's, um, he's father. I know that you always hear me, right? So he's, he's really praying without ceasing. Um, uh, and, and it, he prayed so much that his disciples came to him and, um, they said to him, teach us how to pray. And, and I really think what they're saying here is we want this closeness with the father that you have. Um, we, are our children of the Heavenly Father through you, Jesus. You are the only begotten Son of God, but we are his sons and daughters. Teach us how to pray because we want to, to so grow in being in him and knowing ourselves uh, as, as his dear children. And, and of course, this is so powerful. Jesus says when you say, you begin with our Father, and, and the word Father is not formal, right? Uh, but it's rather uh, Daddy or Papa, our Papa, our Daddy. It, it, and, and notice the hour, it ties to the idea our identity is tied to community. <laughs> and, and so and so prayer, we're going to spend a week and, and look at that. It's, it's going to be a, a great time. I've, I've seen the devotions and so forth. And, and hopefully you're not doing this alone. Uh, hopefully you're doing it with somebody, a friend or your family. Hopefully you're in a small group um, and, and you're blessed with that week. And, and, and this, the second one I want to signpost today is, is the idea of seeking solitude. And, and, and I want to read you something for that. It, it's kind of interesting. There was a, a, a Christian who lived a long time ago. Um, uh, I think it was Augustine, but I'm not sure. Okay, uh, and, um, and and this Christian says something like, um, "For those who uh, love uh, to, to be around people, you ought to seek solitude. And for those who love solitude, you ought to seek being around people. In other words, this balance, the, 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 this balance. Okay. So I want you to see if you can see this balance in Jesus. All right. Did he give us his examples? So here we go. This is at the beginning of his ministry. It's in Mark. He's called his disciples. Now they they're they're going out and they're preaching and healing and teaching and casting out demons, right? So here we go. As soon as they left the synagogue and they're in the synagogue, uh, they went with James and John to the home of Simon and Andrew. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told Jesus about her. So he went to her, took her hand, and helped her up. The fever left her, and she began to wait on them. So you have this community, right? Uh, they go to Peter's house, and, and his mother-in-law is sick, so he heals them. And, and notice here what a heart she has. She she's, knows she's healed to serve. That's for all of us, right? Our hearts are healed uh, to empower us to serve because that's our very being, right? We, we're like Jesus. We've, we're, we've been made to serve. So then it says, that evening after sunset, the people brought to Jesus all the sick and demon-possessed. The whole town gathered the door, and Jesus healed many who had various diseases. He also drove out many demons, but he would not let the demons speak because they knew who he was. So Jesus, you could say he's working. <laughs> you know, he's working with, he's healing and healing and preaching and teaching and casting out demons, right? And, and, and then it says this, very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up. You know, I often wonder if he had to set an alarm. <laughs> he must have been exhausted from the day before. But he knew where his real strength lie. All right? he, he got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. So he sought solitude. He's had time. He has time with community with his disciples. He has time in service with the, with the sick and the hurting and, and those that know, don't know about him. But then he, he gets up early and he makes time for solitude with the Heavenly Father. Uh, and, and it goes on, Simon and his companions went to look for him. I mean, that was, they, he was, he had to be looked for, right? 
And when they found him, they exclaimed, everyone is looking for you. In other words, he had this place and time of solitude where he was sure no one could find him until he was ready. Uh, and, and, and certainly, um, that doesn't mean that we live in solitude our whole lives. No, he lived in community with his disciples. First thing he did was minister, and he chose disciples, right? You can do life with me. And he was already always going, right? Serving others and so forth. And yet he also had this time of solitude with his father. Uh, and, and certainly, and, and we see this, uh, we, in another place, uh, he's going to choose his disciples, right? So he prays all night. And so you see this solitude being joined with the idea of the priority of prayer, right? Uh, and, and this is powerful examples to us in his powerful words. And the Spirit will take these things and grow us in making prayer our priority. And, and this idea of seeking solitude and this balance, if you will, between solitude and community and service in our life as well. Uh, would, would you pray with me? Dearest Jesus, uh, boy, we thank you, Lord. Uh, we thank you that you show us by your example uh, and your words, these patterns in our lives, these disciplines that you would work in us by your spirit so that we can more and more grow in who we are in you, our very being. Uh, we pray, Lord, that you would work during these 40 days to grow us. Uh, we pray, Lord, that, that you might bring others to connect with us during this time uh, and so that we can grow together. We pray in your name. Amen. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, may God be with you. Bye-bye.